Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another craft beer review. And today I got something my good buddy Mark over at Video Beer Review sent me. The 2009 Mac in Black Imperial Black Ale from Holy Mackerel. It is an Imperial Black Ale with pomegranate juice. On the side it says dark chocolate barley and roasted grains paired with American hops and Belgian yeast create a mouthful of flavors. But wait, that's not all. Add a hint of pomegranate juice and what you have here is not your run of the mill fruit beer. You've hit the mother load. This ale is suitable for aging one to two years. So I'm not sure exactly when in 2009 this came out, but you know maybe we're looking you know better part of a year. Uh, this is definitely something I want to crack open and give it a shot. Holy mackerel is brewed in Florida, small batch beers. Been sitting on the fridge not that long. Should be at a good temperature to enjoy this sucker. Cap is just a red cap. Come on, holy mackerel, put your logo on there. Put a fish on there, something. Going to use the pint glass with the bubble today. Killian's glass. Let's have a pour here. Oh, that is dark. That is real, real dark. All righty. Color is wow I mean that is dark 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 I can I'm looking at a super bright light as always when I'm in here and I can barely see it shimmering through and the, what's shimmering through is very dark red um, I'm not getting really eh, a little bit of light there at the bottom but barely anything the color of the head is oh wow what a smell the color of the head is um, you know, like a really light caramel color, perhaps. Very, very, very fine bubbles in there. And that is a very party looking beer. Let's have a smell. A lot of malts in that smell. And I do think I am getting a hint of the pomegranate. I can't say I've smelled a lot of pomegranates, but I'm assuming that's what's in here. Um, almost a bit of a, a, a bitter or a sour smell to it as well. This is going to be an interesting brew. Let's go ahead and have a drink, see what we think. Mmm. It's like a chocolate pomegranate taste. Very, very different. Very different. Eight percent ABV. I can't taste a hint of alcohol at all. Can't taste any of that. Um, this is different. Nice lacing on there. Gotta love that. <laughs> For as dark as it is, there there is there's there's a big chocolate flavor, but it is that that pomegranate is big. I mean, that's pretty up front of the palate, right there. I mean, it is not playing around. I'm not a real big fan of pomegranates, but this is a good beer. I mean, there's no doubt about it. It's a good beer. I'm not crazy about it. Let's see if there's anything else on it. Uh, this is so unique. I've never tasted anything like this. Those chocolate malts are, are they're, it's big, man. Is it chocolate malt? No, chocolate barley. That's what that is, a chocolate barley. 
you know, this is something I'm enjoying more and more each time I taste it. It's having a smell. Smell hasn't changed much. You know, started up a little bit, drank most of it. Yeah, this is uh, this is pretty good. You know, at first I was kind of like, eh, I don't know about the pomegranate thing. When I taste it, <coughs> excuse me. And I had another taste, and I was like, mm, another taste. Third or fourth taste, you know, it, it's really good. It's kind of like a chocolate covered pomegranate. Um, it's very interesting. I'm not sure what to give for a letter grade though. You know, I'm going to go ahead and letter grade this as a B. Solid B, no plus or minus. Um, I think it's good. And it's kind of better with each taste as, as your palate adjusts to that, you know, those strange flavors kind of hitting you out there. Um, if you're into pomegranates, though, if you like drinking that palm juice and et cetera, et cetera, this would probably be at least an A, if not higher, an A plus or whatever for you. Um, I'm not crazy about pomegranates, but it is good. I mean, this is a good beer. It's crafted well. Um, just because I necessarily, how do I put this? I don't know if I would buy this again. I don't know if I could drink a six pack of it, but having one, you know, to start the night off or just to kind of relax and have one, it's pretty good. And it's a little chillier outside than it's been. So there's a good time for something dark like this. That's it. Final verdict is a B. Thanks again, Mark, for the beer. Always nice to try something crazy like this. Really cool. Really cool. And listen, holy mackerel, you better, you better cut this shit out with these caps. You know, we don't we don't want to hear it. You put your label on there, God's sakes. B.